The latest data recorded by the Ghana Health Service indicates that over 300 COVID-19 cases are recorded daily. So far, Ghana's active cases stand at 6,765 with over 800 deaths. Health authorities have warned that the number of cases may shoot up with the spread of the Delta variant. There are reported cases of some COVID ICUs getting full, and this may get worse if the disregard for basic safety protocols continues. One of the protocols that is flouted the most is the wearing of nose mask, and a visit to the central business district confirms the assertion. What is preventing a greater number of the public from respecting such an intervention that could save their lives? <laughs> I, I feel like the atmosphere is free. I think I'm frustrated. Frustrated about COVID? Um, the whole thing about COVID. I wish whoever feels like protecting himself should just do it. If you don't feel like doing it, fine. It shouldn't be uh, you enforcing somebody because at the end of the day, when you die, it's your own death. Such developments are escalating the spread of COVID-19 in the country. The first line of resolution is the directive to all security councils in various assemblies to embark on routine checks at public places. In a release, the Greater Accra Coordinating Council taxed all MMDs in its jurisdiction to ensure that individuals or groups of persons who breach the protocols are severely dealt with. Some traders in the Central Business District say the directive is a good move. Ghana for your sword. Yes, stop for your sword. Sir, I'm on fat. I'm on your side. Ghana for the Bible. I'm on 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 the However, Madame Vivian Menz, who sells fabrics, has a different opinion. Greater Accra Minister, Omaya Nchi Obia, me futu ame debe ma abai ni se, abai do obaya o COVID timu awaye, entu Obia o so nche no smarte no, onya no, se se skabia o debe tia COVID free no, onya no anfanko che free education. On Fanya Road, Obia one she no smart be a Oko hospital no anya COVID ya. On Tiaka, anya scan Tia Omu. Just like many municipal assemblies in the Greater Accra region, I contacted the Kole Klote Municipal Assembly say they are re-strategizing to implement the Greater Accra Regional Coordinating Council's directive. We have even started. Uh, uh, we are recruiting more tax force. And then, because this is not the only business we do with our tax force, if we are we even going to hold these people? And if it's the everyday thing, uh, it's more or less sometimes becomes difficult. One of the things we are doing is on the spot uh, when people are found not to have worn their face masks, then uh, they are forced to purchase one and put it on. And then it's only for those that uh, probably are of a certain mindset that there's no COVID and this is all uh, a lie and all that. Then for those people, they need to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, sanctioned, yes. They need to be sanctioned. So that is what is happening for now. So uh, I think. We manage the previous arrangements so well that Ghanaians are not uh, taking this whole thing very serious. But uh, when you've heard about stories about people you know that have passed on and all that, uh, you know you've been lucky. 
and we have to be very careful about this thing. So, uh, constant education, creating awareness is also part of the process. As some people here in the um, central business district, specifically traders, are in support of the directive um, given by the Greater Accra Directorate, that people seen without their nose pass should be arrested. Other assemblies who are supposed to be in charge are still in preparation towards the directive. Reporting for City News, I am Na Adole Moffat. The Ghana Health Service last week warned that it feared treatment centers will be full this week if the rate of COVID-19 infections continue. The Confederate Teaching Hospital and the Kumasi South Hospital are the two main treatment centers in the Ashanti region. Speaking to City News, the Ashanti Regional Deputy Director of Health Services in charge of public health, Dr. Michael Roxine J says, since the rate of infections has not reduced, they have allowed some other health facilities to support in providing treatment for persons with moderate and mild cases to augment the efforts of the treatment centers. Currently, the two main treatment centers, Convanoche and then Kumase South, uh, are not full, but they are hitting the print. And the reason they are not full is that if all of these guys to take off the pressure from these two facilities so that the periphery, uh, that the district hospitals and polyclinics, and some private hospitals can also manage cases in a bit to soak up the pressure. So that is what uh, is happening now. And uh, that's the reason why we've not, uh, that's the reason why Kovanochi and Kumari South are not full yet. But they have some few best, best to go. Last week, the Ashanti Regional Minister, Samuel Osemens, and directed security agencies in the region to ensure the strict compliance to the COVID 19 safety protocols following a surge in cases. He also called on metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives in the region to ensure the strict compliance to the protocols in their respective assemblies. Checks by City News at major areas in Kumasi showed that enforcement in various parts of the region, as directed by the minister, was yet to fully take effect. Although some police officers were occasionally seen engaging in the enforcement in few areas, City News checks at the Ashanti Regional Police Command show that there had not been any directive for the officers to officially begin the enforcement. Dr. Michael Roxine J stated that although some police officers have begun the enforcement in some areas, they want authorities to extend it to many parts of the region in order to make a greater impact. Uh, we need to still step up with strengthening the enforcement. And realize that secondly, the enforcement is mainly limited to the uh, central part or let's say the greater commerce area, what, what happens in the periphery. So these are all things that um, all of us have to join. That is the various assemblies, securities everywhere would have to come together so that we do the same thing at the same time to ensure that we limit uh, I mean, infections.